Ayami, I'm not sure if you should be here. I watched it. All of it. What you did to Mori, you breaking into the evidence locker. What's wrong with you? If you could... I'm sorry. Everyone says you're sick, that the way you've been acting isn't your fault. I destroyed the footage, Ayami. No one saw it. Consider it a favor. For once, I'm not going to ask you about it or tell anyone about it. In return, get help. I can't stand seeing you like this. I... I can't look at you right now. Just go home. Yukimura won't let you in the building anyway. Is it because I, you know... Is it because I, I punched uh, the man? Okay, guess we're not getting much done here. Maybe punching him wasn't the greatest idea I could have had. Okay, is it snowing out? I guess it might be. You know, it's always weird to me when there's like snow in a game, you know, like something like this where it just kind of comes out and I'm like, that's weird, it's snowing. And then I'm like, oh wait, some people live in places where snow actually happens sometimes. That was weird. Okay. Oh goody, here I am working the morning shift because my boss doesn't like me talking to cops all the time. And what do I find? A cop here, bright and early to talk to me. Assume you're looking for something? Something like that. I was hoping we could chat off the record. <sighs> well, I know how this goes by now. I'm going to stand there until I tell you something, so what do you want? Here, have a look at this. There's a possibility she was around this area when Tanaka was taken. A great detective like yourself must know how many girls pass through this part of town on a nightly basis. I'm well aware. Lucky for you, I'm not asking about all the girls. Just this one. Well, what'd you expect then? How would I remember something like that? It's kind of hard to make out, but the girl has red hair, if that helps. Red hair, huh? Oh yeah, that changes everything. Except it doesn't. What's your point? Well, I think I might have seen her a few weeks ago during the, uh, incident, so... Ah, chat. You're still working. Well, let me help you. Your little picture there says 1996 in it, so I'm pretty sure whoever gave that to you is pulling your leg. Not sure what they're paying you for if someone like me can tell you that. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to get back to work. Hey, hold on. We were just starting up a conversation here. What exactly do you want me to say? I can't lie to you, can I? Well, I could, but you'd only come back here again. Ignore the date. It might not even be a date. Could be a room number or a password for all I know. Maybe. So think hard. Honestly, I don't think there's any other way to say I don't know that I haven't said already. This girl wouldn't have been just another girl. She would have stood out. So think. My gut tells me she passed through here. All right, I'll put my thinking cap on. Ready? Hmm. You're messing with me now, aren't you? Who, me? Why would you think that? Heh, <laughs> as fun as this is, I'm not lying to you. I don't know her is all. And trust me, if telling you'd get me out of my hair, I would. Anything else I can help you with? Pour you a good morning drink, perhaps. Papers are saying you might be crazy. Take care of yourself. Well, you know, there's obviously the year thing, like I was saying. We could attempt to use that number as a passcode on that locked door, you know. Oh, hello there, Yami. You're working bright and early today. How are you? I've been better, but thanks for asking. Oh, yeah? Is there anything I can help you with? Maybe. Any chance you've seen this girl? Hey, she's pretty cute. Or at least she might be under the creepy marker. Um, she does look familiar, but I'm not sure why. Familiar? You've seen her here? Here? Uh, no, I don't think so. 
It says 1996 in the corner. Wonder what that means. Heh, <laughs> 96 was a good year for me. That was the year I made big plans to go to culinary school and become the world's greatest chef. Didn't have a care in the world other than my food. Look at me now. Didn't quite turn out the way I planned. Selling greasy food to people who wouldn't know good cooking from a convenience store rice ball. Wish I could go back. Sorry, I got lost in thought. Hey, could I have a look at that photo again? Yeah, of course. You know, I think I might know who it is. She looks just like this flash in the pan idol from way back when. Had a hit song or something like that. Yeah, I was thinking maybe it was 1996 and this girl's like a ghost. Hmm. Anyway, her name was, a uh, Sparkly Diamond... Dang it, I can't remember. Ah, <sighs> sorry, Yami. I thought I had it. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Anyhow, that was from when I was younger. She must be married with kids by now. Are you positive it's the same girl? Well, it sure looks like her, that's for sure. It's kind of embarrassing, but I was really into idols and stuff when I was younger. I kept a scrapbook and everything. Jeez, I hope no one ever finds that. Okay, so she looks like an old idol. Anything else? Nope, not that I can think of. I would ask someone younger than me. She may have been around towards the end of my idol ex obsession. Hope that helped a little. It did. Thanks, Daizo. No problem, Miyami. I'll see you around. We haven't been getting any points or anything lately. I also haven't really been doing much of investigating lately or getting anything other than negative sanity points. Let's try... Let's see if it'll let me punch it in. Okay, I guess not. Kind of thought it might not. Gonna look at that again? Forensics identified the organic matter in the bag that held Kazuki's phone as human remains, likely organs, from yet unknown third victim. Hey, what you doing? Thought you guys only worked at night, like you were a uh, Nocturamals or something. Oh boy, probably gonna regret this, but have you seen this girl? Whoa, that's some creepy stuff. Did you like mark all over her face for revenge? Man, that's pretty messed up. Yeah, I didn't. Listen, I'm not sure exactly what I expected, but I shouldn't have bothered you, so I'll get going. Whoa, 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 like, slow down, detective. What you've got there is a genuine Pop Idol performance photo there. Wait, you know something? I mean, you know about this picture. Yep. So, what is it? Well, based on, like, the lighting and outfits, it looks like it's a pretty ancient. I mean, like, it might be over ten years old now. <sighs> if ten years is ancient, I'm not going to ask you how old you think I am. Anyway, what else can you tell me about this photo? Ooh, yeah, I recognize that stage anywhere. It's in this cozy little spot in Akihabara. The little lady was probably, like, based there or whatever. This one time, me and my girlfriend were at a concert there, and I think she had the hots for me, so... Okay, okay, I, got, I get the picture. Akihabara, huh? Well, I gotta say, kid, you really know your stuff. Yep, yep, people tell me that a lot, you know? Like, they think I'm pretty wisdomful. Oh no! Been fun chatting, but I better get back to work. Place would fall apart without me. What do you do here? Okay. So let's get to Akihabara, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I, just, I don't like the... Because they do the zoomed-in thing for, you know, probably a multitude of reasons. One, to get a decent amount of detail on the character in the backgrounds. But it also increases the, the terror factor when you can't see that far ahead of yourself. It definitely helps in the darker areas. It sort of mimics the idea of it's really dark and it's hard to see. But during the daytime like this, it doesn't quite have that same effect. It just feels very zoomed in. I didn't actually mean to click that, but that's that's fine. And so... You know, I don't, I don't really like running, because like, you hit the edge of the screen in about a second while running. 
or where the edge was, I should say. Chimini, Akihabara is a mecca of geek culture with its numerous electronic stores, maid cafes, and arcades. But under its cute exterior, it also holds a dark underbelly of exploitation that isn't often talked about publicly. Maybe we can find, uh... We can find the labo over here. That's all I know about Akihabara. It's Steinsgate. And other various things, I guess, but, you know, mostly Steinsgate. Cheap cologne and a dumb muscle shirt aren't going to be enough to convince me this guy is tough. On any other day, I'd probably enjoy messing with a mouth breather like this, but I doubt he'd know anything about pop idols or Reina. I should move on for now. Inside, there's a few salarymen gathered around looking at pictures of high school girls posted up on the wall. I've got no interest in going inside a place like that unless I have to. Joshi Kosei, or JK for short. <laughs> Joshi. <laughs> Why fantasize about a high school student when you can pay money to date them for real? Does anyone actually believe it's all innocent? Though the two guys standing outside of the ramen shop look foreign, I can hear them speaking fluent sounding Japanese. They're poring over what looks like a map and some drawings. Hi, I don't mean to be rude, but I couldn't help but notice all the maps and notes you guys are passing back and forth. Seems kind of insane. Or intense, sorry. No, no thank you. Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to hand us a flyer. We ducked in here to escape a very persistent maid. You're not a maid in disguise, are you? Ha! <laughs> nope, I doubt I could summon the pep required to be a maid for ten minutes, let alone all day. I was just curious about what you two were doing. Uncovering all the hidden secrets of Akiba, of course. What about you? Uh, something kind of similar, actually. But you guys seem a lot more well-versed in the area than I am. How far back do these side streets go, anyway? Oh boy, you don't even know the half of it. There's whole mazes of electronic stores, stalls selling computer and radio parts, and about anything else you can imagine. We decided to map out the area. Bit of urban exploration. I'm sure it's not very original, but it's been a fun side project. Thanks, Cody. Akihabara is a fascinating area, that's for sure. Urban exploration, huh? Sounds interesting. Most of my friends just sleep on their days off. Are you guys English teachers? Who, me? No, I'm a writer. Well, an aspiring writer. I've only gotten a few gigs. I'm a web developer in my day job. But it's projects like this that give me fuel for the creative fire. Who knows? Maybe you'll be reading something and find an antidote about this conversation in it someday. I'm an artist. Graphic designer on the side. Cody here commissioned me to come out with him and make sketches as we explore the city for the book he's working on. Huh. I never would have guessed people would be doing things like that. What kind of book are you writing? Urban Horror. Neon Noir is in the seemingly clean streets of Tokyo. I doubt you'd believe the things that go on in the city even if I told you. I wouldn't. It might surprise you how much I'm willing to believe. So, have you been mapping out the street? Anything interesting about it? Interesting might not be the word I'd used. I've been getting kind of a weird vibe around here. I mean, on the surface, it looks like any other side street in Akiba. It's got everything you'd expect. A smoky arcade, a maid cafe, a cat cafe, a couple of bookstores. Nothing unusual there. Not for Akiba, anyway. So far, so good. We were almost ready to move on, but... See that elevator over there? Yeah, sure, what about it? Looks normal, right? Well, looks can be deceiving. Yeah, we've got a little pet theory about it. Get this, we think... We think it eats people. You think the elevator eats people? We've been staking it out the last few days. As far as we can tell, it doesn't belong to any store in that building. And get this, it only lets certain people in. And when they get in, we never see them get back out. 
Yeah, go ahead and try it. We have... So, logically, it's either eating people or... Yakuza vampires. I've thought a lot about it. I'm pretty sure it might be a thing. I mean, there's a ton of shady activity around here. Dang. Sion, that might be the book. The Yakuza Vampires of Akiba. Write this down. What? Oh, I'm doing better than writing it down. I'm already making some sketches. I think this is the best idea you've had all week, Cody. Didn't you say you knew some Hollywood agent in L.A.? Yeah, and once we write this, there's no way they can ignore it. Vampires are all the rage. Or they were. We can bring them back. You guys certainly have a heck of an imagination. Take it from me, the city is a lot of strange things that happen in real life, too. Trust me, you start asking around and you'd be surprised what people tell you. Alright, those are some interesting guys. That's an avocado. And we finally got some investigation back, so maybe we can start combating this uh, sanity problem. The elevator is out of service. Oh, is this, is this the lab? I think it is. Every time the automatic doors open, the noise from the pachinko parlor and the smell of stale cigarette smoke assaults your senses. Guess we're going in. Hello? Hi, sorry to bother you. I'm Iyami. What's your name? Hmm? I'm Moika. Moika? <laughs> Whatever you want, make it quick. I'm kind of waiting for someone, so... Alright, I'll cut to the chase. Can you tell me anything about this photo? Ugh, what decade is that dress from? Wait, glow sticks? Uh-oh. This isn't some idle thing, is it? If you're from some modeling agency or whatever, I'll tell you right now there's no way I'll wear that kind of gothic Lolita stuff. No, nothing like that. I'm an investigator of sorts. I'm less interested in the fashion and more about the girl herself. How should I know? Idle stuff is so boring. Hey, are you like the investigators on TV? Did that girl cheat with some guy's wife or something? That's so exciting. Know what you should do? You should totally ask the collector about that photo. What kind of collector? No, the collector. It's like a name he gives himself. Guy knows everything there is to know around here. My friend Akane told me about it. If that girl's an Akihabara, I bet he knows about it. Why? Is this guy an expert on idols or something? No, weren't you listening? Like I said, he knows everything. What shops are employing foreigners illegally? Who's behind on their rent? Hell, he even knows which time cap or capsule machines have the rarest stuff. At least, that's what I've heard. No offense, but why would some high school girl need information like that? Well, that's... it's complicated. Akane works around here part-time, and there was a customer who used to come in and kind of obsess over her, you know? A real creep. Before long, he was following her home. She complained, but her boss wouldn't believe her, so Akane asked the collector to give her something to make the weirdo go away. And did he? Sure did. He gave her a photo of the guy that she mailed to the creep's wife. Let's just say it was incriminating. What'd he get out of it? this collector. Why don't you ask Akane herself? She's out with someone right now, but should be back any minute. Thanks, Moika. I might just do that. I don't know if this is going to give us some negative neurosis points, but like I said, I don't really know much. Ask Akane. She'll be back soon. Okay, didn't get any bad points, so I think we'll stop there. Oh no, they're gone. Ah, tiny ramen shops like this one bring me back. When I was a student, I used to go to a ramen shop to get a bowl once a week. That was my own private little ritual. That actually sounds super tasty right now. See, this is okay to run because the screen zoomed out a bit more here. Oh, maid cafe. A cat themed maid cafe as opposed to a regular cat cafe. Maybe there's a police they made cafe somewhere. Kazuki would have gotten a kick out of that. One of the many foreign tourists who frequent the electric town site of Akihabara. A Hawaiian shirt with a fanny pack, huh? 
I doubt she speaks enough Japanese to be helpful to me. All right, we're going in the maid cafe. Hajimemashite. Nyan! Welcome, gentle mistress. I'm Akio Nyan. What's your name? Uh, uh yes, hi. I'm Ayami. Nyalo, Ayami Nyan! Whoa. <laughs> Your table will be ready in just a few moments. We apologize for the wait and hope you can forgive us. Oh, then she actually meowed. Does the mistress have a membership card? No, I don't, but hey, hold on! Take your hands off me! It's important that I personally guide you to your table, Anyami Nyan. Nyan! Perfect, there we are. Don't you feel better? Actually, I was hoping we could talk about... Oh yes, Mr. Siyami Nyan. That option is included on the menu under Fuel Full Access Communication. <laughs> it's only 1,000 yen extra, and then you can ask all the questions you want. Yay! But if you want pictures, you'll have to order the pretty cheeky photo option. Only 1,000 yen per photo. Yay. I think you may have gotten the wrong impression. I'm clearly starving. Mistress, where are my manners? That wasn't very polite of me. What can this humble servant fetch for you? No, hold on. You're not listening. I only want to ask you about a photo. Oh, mistress, you're so hungry. You don't even remember me explaining the purdy, check, checky, cheeky photo option. You've grown delirious. We'll get you food soon. We have nyan pan nyan cakes, pallberry cheesecake, persto pasta, persto pasta, and all are available to come in a drink set. I want some Nyan Nyan pancakes. Okay, okay, I'll have the, uh, let's see here. Nyan Nyan pancakes and the pretty kitty. Oh, excellent choice, Yami Nyan. Those are a very popular item on our menu. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> right, so I ordered. That means I can finally ask you about this. Before your order arrives, you must first do the ultra-secret Nyan Pan Fan Cheer. Nyan Pa what? Do I have to? Come on, surely I don't need to do something silly like that. But I must insist, Nyami Nyan. One can't taste the love cooked into Nyan Pan can not Nyan cakes unless it's released by the Nyan Pan fan cheer. <sighs> Fine, you win. What do you want me to do? Excellent, mistress. Already, I can feel the love pouring from your kind heart. Let's begin. Place your paws into the air like this. Like this? Perfect. And Yami Nyan, are you sure you haven't done this before? Now, you must repeat these sacred verses. Nyan, Melo, Nan, Palo, Nyan, Walla, Pa. What? Nyan, Melo, Nan, Palo, Nyan, Walla, Pa. Uh, Nyan Ma... Ah, uh, don't forget to raise your paws. Nyan Melo Nyan Palo Nan Wala Pa. Unbelievable! The passion, the vigor. I can feel the love pouring into the room in Yami Nyan. You know, I can't lie. I do feel like a little bit of my negativity just flew out of me. Now that I've said the cheer, can we... Oh my goodness, mistress! Tian Nyan, your pancakes have arrived! That was quick. Hold on. You didn't tell me the Nyan Pan Nyan cakes were shaped like little cats. Oh, yes. They are painstakingly made with love by our staff. There's a little whipped cream tail. It's so cute. Nyan. Now when Nyami Nyan was saying something about a picture, as I recall. Oh, hold up. No need to rush things. We can't talk in an empty stomach, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's... It's so good. So I think that was actually a good one. I think... Yeah, my sanity went up slightly from that. And I lost... And I got some neurosis decrease, so that's actually really good too. Professionalism went down, but I don't think it went down by much. And I'm not really looking for a cat to tell me that I'm being professional anyway. Does your maid staff actually make these? 
because they were amazing. Of course, Inyaminyan. And now that you've eaten, I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Oh, right, that. Have you ever seen the girl in this photo? Let me see. Nya! Whoa, are you alright? I am concentrating to my fullest, Inyaminyan. Oh, but this young mistress is not familiar to me, Nya. Ah, uh, I see. Well, thanks anyway. That dress is so pretty. It looks like it was custom made. I've seen some of that quality before, Nyan. Maybe you should ask the collector. She's a fashion designer in Akihabara who designs costumes for the maids and idols who don't have a big budget. Collector, huh? How can I find her? Supposedly, she has a shop on this very street. Supposedly? She's a very mysterious lady, Yaminyan. My co-worker, Minanyan, has met her. Her shift starts soon. You should ask her about it. I will, thanks. Oh, and, um, next time, can I get a picture of the pancakes? I ate them so quickly that I forgot. Of course, Inyaminyan. Well, that was an excellent experience. Very glad we went there. Like I said, that actually bumped her sanity up to stable. So that's good, actually. Lost some professionalism, but at this point I think that's gone down the drain with punching people and shooting locks off. Oh, hey, another cat. <laughs> Hello? A small bookshop that sells mostly manga and cheap, brightly colored magazines. Hi, do you mind if I bother you with a few questions? It seems like you know the area a little better than I do. You're not trying to sell me something, are you? Nope, don't want anything from you except a little bit of your time, if you can spare it. Good, I'm... Atsushi? Atsushi, yeah. Nice to meet you. How can I help you? Nice to meet you, too. I'm Iyami, Ito. I'm looking for someone, but I feel a little out of my depth around here. Everything in Akihabara feels a little strange to me. Ha, huh, that's one way to put it. My bookshop's nestled in between a cat-made cafe and a cat cafe, so yes. It's all a little strange. Honestly, it's a stressful set of neighbors to have. Not a fan of your neighbors? Huh, well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, who doesn't love maids? Um, the cat cafe is a different story altogether. Don't get me wrong, the owner is a nice lady, and all but those cats of hers make a lot of noise at night. If she's not careful, they might drive the locals a little crazy. Guess it's some consolation that the little buggers are so cute. Hmm. Things have really changed around here. When my father owned this store, this area is nothing like it is now. It had more... more authenticity. Nowadays, everywhere I go, it feels like it's one big advertisement. I guess I'm not one to talk. I'm not any better. This bookstore used to be a real hidden gem. We sold original prints in rare volumes. My family were known as quite the collectors. Collectors? Well, n not me. The collection mostly belonged to my grandfather. He had a real eye for art and took pride in finding original works. I admired the hell out of him, but his devotion to the arts couldn't keep up with the times. Nowadays I just sell weekly manga magazines. I've done pretty well for myself. I can't complain. I've never had the talent or the eye that my father and grandfather had. But I guess you don't really know how much something means to you until it's gone, you know? I do. Thanks for your time, Atsushi. No worries. My normal customers aren't quite as chatty, so having a talk like this was a really nice change of pace. Alright, more investigation. Good. Suppose I lucked out getting an apartment that allows animals. If I didn't, I'd probably find myself in a cat cafe every other day. 